Humanity's eternal question and the rise of JWST the question that never fades. The one that always returns, haunting every generation that dares to look upward. Whenever humanity lifts its gaze toward the endless night, we are confronted not only by darkness, but by an ocean of glittering light, a boundless sea where billions of stars burn, shimmer, and whisper across eternity. Each point of light is not merely a tiny spark in the void. It is a sun, a living furnace of unimaginable power, a beacon whose flames can outlast civilizations and endure longer than mountains. And around many of these suns, unseen worlds move in silent orbits, circling in the cold depths of space, their presence invisible yet undeniable. Planets hidden in the shadows, waiting for discovery. Each one is more than rock and atmosphere. Each could be a stage. A place where the story of life itself might one day unfold. And as we lift our eyes upward, the same haunting question rises, again and again, echoing through time. Are we truly alone in this vast and infinite universe? It is a question older than history itself, older than kingdoms, older than empires, a question that shaped civilizations, gave birth to myths, and inspired endless philosophies. Our earliest ancestors etched it into cave walls with trembling hands, their firelight flickering as they wondered what shone in the heavens above. It was whispered in temples of stone, carried in hymns of faith, and debated in the great halls of learning. It traveled with explorers who sailed into uncharted seas, searching not only for new lands, but for meaning beyond the horizon. For some, the stars promised gods and heavenly realms. For others, they suggested angels, monsters, or civilizations beyond imagination. Across every culture, across every age, the night sky was never simply a backdrop. It was a mirror reflecting humanity's deepest longing to know if life exists beyond our fragile earth. Philosophers wrestled with the riddle of infinity. Poets gave the mystery wings and voices. Explorers searched for its echoes in the unknown. And scientists, patient and tireless, devoted entire lifetimes to transforming wonder into knowledge. And yet, for thousands of years, the stars remained silent. The heavens glowed with brilliance, but revealed no certainty. The mystery endured, untouchable, unreachable, hidden within the infinite darkness of space. But something has changed in our age. We are no longer guided only by stories, faith, or imagination. Now, we gaze upward with instruments capable of peeling back the cosmic veil. Humanity stands on the threshold of a golden age of discovery. An era where speculation surrenders to science, where dreams are tested by reason, where the impossible becomes measurable. This new age is not defined by wooden ships crossing oceans. It is defined by telescopes sailing across the seas of space. And at the forefront of this extraordinary journey stands one of humanity's greatest achievements, the James Webb Space Telescope. This is no ordinary machine. It is the embodiment of human ambition, vision, and persistence, the culmination of decades of planning, billions of dollars in investment, and the tireless dedication of thousands of engineers and scientists across the globe. Launched into the silent void, JWST now drifts a million miles from Earth, a lone sentinel watching the heavens. Its golden mirrors unfold like the petals of a cosmic flower, blooming in perfect harmony reaching to capture the ancient light of distant worlds. It is the most powerful observatory humanity has ever built. Its audacious purpose, to look deeper into the universe than any eye has ever dared. With its vast mirrors and sensitive instruments, JWST becomes a traveler through time, catching rays of light that began their journeys billions of years ago. Every flicker is a message from the past, a story written in photons, a glimpse into an age when galaxies were young and the first stars burned into existence. Through JWST, we do not simply look outward into space. We look backward, into time itself. 
and among the countless stars, nebulae, and galaxies it has unveiled, one discovery has stirred a wave of excitement like no other. A strange and mysterious world. K218b. The alien promise of K218b. K218b belongs to a rare and fascinating class of planets, the sub Neptunes. Worlds larger than Earth yet smaller than Neptune. Massive enough to hold swirling atmospheres, but not so immense as to transform into overwhelming gas giants. What makes them remarkable is this. None exist in our own solar system. We know the rocky worlds, Earth, Mars, and Venus. We know the titans of gas and ice, Jupiter, Saturn, Neptune. But sub-Neptunes belong only to other stars, making them cosmic puzzles, hybrid worlds that are at once familiar and alien. Astronomers believe sub-Neptunes may be the most common planets in the galaxy. And yet, because none exist nearby, their true nature remains one of the great mysteries in planetary science. Some may hide deep oceans beneath cloudy skies. Others may carry exotic atmospheres that could nurture strange and unfamiliar forms of life. They are worlds of possibility, neither too small to be barren, nor too vast to be hostile. And among them, K218b is one of the most promising. It orbits a faint red dwarf star, K218, a sun far smaller, dimmer, and cooler than our own. The planet circles dangerously close just 0.18 astronomical units away. For comparison, Earth orbits at 1. If our world were placed so near, our oceans would vanish in boiling vapor. But K218b endures. Its star's dimness balances the closeness, allowing the planet to remain in the habitable zone, the fragile region where liquid water might exist. And what did JWST uncover? the faint fingerprints of water vapor in its atmosphere. This discovery electrified the scientific world. For the first time, a sub-Neptune in the habitable zone revealed evidence of one of life's most essential ingredients. But the revelations did not stop there. JWST also detected methane and carbon dioxide, gases familiar to us, gases that help stabilize climates and sustain planetary atmospheres. And then came the most astonishing clue of all, a faint, tantalizing hint of dimethyl sulfide, or DMS. On Earth, this molecule is rare. It is produced almost entirely by life, tiny plankton drifting in the oceans release it into the air. If confirmed, this could be the strongest biosignature ever detected beyond our solar system. Imagine it. A planet larger than Earth, Cloaked in dense clouds, its alien skies hiding oceans that stretch farther than any we know. And within those oceans, microorganisms drifting in the currents, releasing the very same molecules of life that breathe through our own world. Of course, science demands patience and caution. The signal of DMS was faint, observed only twice, and extraordinary claims require extraordinary evidence. Astronomers must confirm it again and again, under many conditions, before declaring proof of life. Even so, the possibility is staggering. K218b may not have forests waving in the wind. It may not host animals roaming across continents. It may not carry civilization sending signals into the night. But it could harbor something just as profound the quiet persistence of microbial life beneath an alien sky. If true, then K218b is not just another planet. It is a beacon. A sign that life is not unique to Earth. A reminder that the universe may be far more alive, far more vibrant, than we ever dared to believe.